All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here at one of the most amazing places. This is the Mifflin County Sportsman Association. I love this place. It's, it's amazing in that, well, you can come out here during the week and uh, basically have it to yourself. So what are we doing today? Well, we are testing out this guy right here. This is the Elite. And what we're going to do is I'm going to run three different types of ammo through it. Uh, should be pretty interesting. I was going to get a little bit more, but you know what? We're limited on our time. So first of all, we're going to run Federal 55 grain. We're going to run the Magtech 77 grain. And then we're going to introduce the Norma 223 Tactical. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to load up, and I've got a camera down range. We're trying to beat the, uh, <laughs> the winter uh, light, and I've got my cameras turned up about as much as I can turn them up. But what we want to do is uh, I just want to see how we can get a five round group on this thing and see how it goes. Now, the budget, uh, I will tell you this, we were having, I, I did some test rounds and earlier uh, when I adjusted the gas block, the uh, it was running. Then and now we're 33 degrees out here and well, uh, we're not running. <laughs> so we're not cycling the way I would like to see it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Put this thing down there. Now I'm running the, uh, what do you call this? The 3 to 18. This is the Athena reticle. This is the same reticle that I'm running on the MPA and or the uh, 65 Cremor gas gun in the Platinum series. I also have the gold that I ordered that is very exciting with the R grid and we got a couple more scopes coming. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be one of these. So what I want to do, uh, I'm going to go to top right hand target. Now, like I said, I've zeroed these things in a little bit. I don't know where these are going to hit. I'm not really concerned about what I'm hitting. I just want to make sure that they're grouping appropriately. Here we go. I'm going to turn the light on here. I don't normally do that. But it makes a nice contrast with the red chevron to that black bullseye target there. Ah! Okay. Not bad. That was the 55 green federal. Now what we're going to do is the uh, 55 grain Norma Tactical. All right, second dot down to the right. We're over gas today. So, spread out a little bit. Let's see how these 77 grains compare. Now, this is the Proof Research eight, uh, 20 inch, 1 and 8 twist carbon fiber wrap barrel. It's going to be interesting to see, and I'm not doing it today, but we're going to do the heat test where I will run five round group, put 60 rounds through it. And it will hit it with another five rounds to see how well it'll hold its zero. Here we go. Is that five rounds? Yes, it is. Let's pop another five rounds on a different target. This time I'm going to put a rear bag on here, see if we can hold it a little bit more steady and go for the money on that. Go at the same target below, right below it.
Ah, uh, hold it. <laughs> Damn it, I rushed that last shot. Okay, I can live with that. So, uh, yeah. The Elite. The whole package as a whole. From this grip, and I understand a lot of people had some problems with this thing, or some people did. This is one amazing rifle in itself, and I am very excited that it's in my uh, possession. I'm really looking forward to mounting a different scope on it, but I wanted to run the 3 to 18s because we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and bring the budget out. We're going to aim it at the left side dots. We'll do the same series and go from there. Stand by. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run the 55 grain Federal through this thing. Then we'll do the Norma and then we will do the 77 grain to see how that works. I'll tell you what we'll do because I know what this thing's shooting uh, with the 55 grain. I'll go ahead and run that center top and hopefully we don't hit my camera. And I may have to cycle through these things. We'll see. She's not locking back to the rear. Let's go ahead and drop one in there. Okay. See, it's not even... Something's wrong with this magazine, I think. Yeah. Let's go switch the magazines out. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and run the Norma. This is where I need my studio lights. So when it gets dark out here, I can go ahead and keep going. All right, that did not reset. Wow, she does not like the Norma. Absolutely not. All right. <laughs> I think my memory card ran out if you missed the last part of that. Uh, but yeah, not very happy with that. So what we're going to do, uh, the next step is actually to, to mount the new scope when it comes in on this thing. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll get the muzzle velocity. Uh, we will enter into applied ballistics and we'll start using the uh, Leica 2800 along with Kestrel to start dialing in our, uh, what do you call it, our dope. Alright, so let's do this. Here we okay. go. So I'm going to go the second from the bottom on the right hand side.
Yeah, it dropped it. Let's do that again. That was a lot of fun. It's a beautiful scene out here. I should uh, try to take a picture of it. Wow. That's a bullet. Uh, now we're just having fun. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it, man. This is the initial accuracy test for the, both the Elite and the uh, the, the budget. Uh, I think it's safe to say that the budget kind of... Uh, I got to figure out what's going on there. There's too much deviation. There's too many things going on, especially it, it, including, you know, with the MagTech. It shouldn't be getting that kind of uh, average. Matter of fact, I didn't really see that uh, on the last... On the very initial uh, shots so I'm not sure what's going on there uh, but we'll figure it out that's the fun of what we do uh, I cannot wait to continue playing and having fun with this guy right here it's Cutter Boy 32 I know this was boring uh, not as much fun talking about Virginia and uh, the wounded uh, what, what is his name whiskey warehouse uh, 546 but uh, we have a lot of fun and I'm freezing my butt off it's Cutter Boy 32 like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day. Bye.